Hi, first graders. I'm so glad you've joined me today as we review and practice the things that we've learned in this cycle. We will be doing some decoding and spelling review. Materials. For today, you will need to grab a piece of paper and your pencil. Here are today's two learning targets. I can read silly CVCC words, and I can spell VC, CVC, CVCC, and high frequency words. Let's get started. Transition song. Gather round together, together, together. Gather round together to read silly words. They may sound a little strange, strange, strange. They may sound a little strange, cause that's how they're arranged. Word work. It's time to practice reading some silly words. Remember, even if we don't know what the words are, we can use what we know about letters and sounds to decode them. Let's take a look at this silly word. Hmm. The word is not familiar to me, but I notice that it has the part UFF, -F, just like in the word buff that we worked with in our last lesson. So if I change the B to an UL, then I have the word UL, A, F, LUFF. Now it's your turn. Look at this silly word. Are there any parts that you recognize? Hmm, yeah, that part I-L-L -L, looks like the part in the word will. That's what I notice. If you put the Z in front, tap it out with me. Z. Ill. Zill. Excellent job decoding those silly words. Now, we are going to do some spelling with style. This is when you get to use some kind of silly or fancy voice to say the letters in the word to spell the word. You can use your underwater voice or your robot voice or your opera voice to spell the word. Let's look at this first one. What's that word? Let's spell it. Saying the name of the letters. Choose the voice that you want to use. F-E-L-L. -L. That word is fell. Let's spell our next silly word. Take a peek at the letters and choose what voice you want to use to spell it, saying the name of the letters. Go ahead. Nice job spelling those words with style. Transition song. It's time to spell and decode to show what we're learning. It's time to spell and decode to show what you've learned. Fluency. Now, you are going to get to practice reading some words that follow the rule we worked on this week, the floss rule. As the words pop up on the screen, do your best to read what you can. You can tap out the sounds if that helps you. Here we go. Smelled. Jazz. Spill. Ball. T. 
toss. Grass. Excellent job doing your best to decode those words. They all followed the floss rule. Writing. Now, go ahead and grab your paper and your pencil. You are going to get a chance to listen carefully to a word I tell you and then spell the word on your page. Listen closely to the word and think about the sounds as you write each letter. You can tap out the word after I say it if that helps you. I'll also use the word in a sentence. Here we go and just do your best. The first word is moss. Moss was growing in a rock. Our first word is moss. Moss was growing on a rock in my yard. Moss. Okay, here is our second word. Wall. I got in trouble for drawing on the wall of my bedroom. Wall. Here is our third word. Puff. A puff of smoke came out of the chimney. Puff. And here is our last word. It's a challenge, so listen closely to the end of the word. The word is smelled. I smelled something stinky from the trash. Smelled. Nicely done. Let's take a peek at the four words. The first word, moss. M-O-S-S. -S. It has a double S because of that short vowel O. The next word was wall. This word also followed the floss rule and it has two L's because there was a short vowel A in the middle of the word. The next word, puff, P-U-F-F. -F. It also followed the floss rule because you double an F if it comes after the short vowel, a. Uh. And finally, our challenge word was smelled. If you cover up that ed ending, you'll see the word smell. The word smell follows the floss rule. You double the final L because there's a short vowel in the middle. And then we turn the word smell to smelled to show that it happened in the past. What did you do well with your spelling review? And what things do you want to keep working on? Be sure to kiss your brain. You worked so hard. Closing reflection. Today we reviewed all of the things that we've learned this week. That includes the floss rule, adding an ED ending to show that something happened in the past, and blending and segmenting words 
that have more than four sounds. Woo! What do you want to keep working on from this cycle as we continue our work together? You did an amazing job this week. I'm so proud of you and I look forward to continuing our learning together in our next cycle.